Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Varteta Learning Platform and in today's video in this series of C++ tips and tricks we are going to discuss a concept related to the virtual functions and the concept is like how can we call a virtual function from base class constructor and will it call the derived class virtual function when we create a virtual function in the base class and our base class pointer is pointing to the derived class then in that case obviously since it's a virtual function then it must need to call the virtual function of the derived class but what will happen if you call that function virtual function from a base class constructor right so with the help of an example this problem will be uh, clear to you and then we will discuss about the concept and the solution not basically solution it's a concept it's an understanding it's a conceptual understanding related to the virtual function concept so let me first create a class test base and let me create one public section where I'm just going to create the constructor for the base class and then I'm going to create a virtual function virtual void test function and in the uh, test base class I'm just writing one statement to indicate that yes we are in the base class constructor okay and then here as well let me write base class test function now I'm just going to create one more class which is the derived class from base test base and it will be derived from test base and here I'm going to again create one constructor and I will write like C out E and DL inside derived class constructor and I'm going to write the virtual function definition here for the test function which I have uh, also uh, you know defined inside the base class so I'm also defining it in the derived class so it's a virtual function so whenever we create a pointer to this test base class which is pointing to the test derived class basically when we are creating an instance of test drive class using the test base pointer then in that case when we call this function test function then it should call this test derived class function okay that is the basic concept that we will just see and that you already know but after that we will see another concept which is the topic of our today's video in derived class test function okay so let me just create one test base asterisk p is equal to new test base sorry test derived and now using the p call the test function so which function will be called i think you already know you know the answer since this p is pointing to the test derived and this is a virtual function test function so to whatever object this pointer p is pointing to the function of that class will be called since it's the function of this class test function we are pointing to this class we are creating an object of test derived so in this case we are going to call this function test function of this class test derived so this you can easily see you can see like in derived class test function it is simply showing us the message and you can see the uh, correct sequence of the constructor call like first the base class constructor is called and then the derived class constructor is called okay but what will happen if I call the test function from inside 
this constructor the base class constructor right I'm not going to do anything else I'm just going to remove this statement I'm just going to create this test derived object and my test base pointer will be pointing to this test derived object and uh, and it will be uh, it will just call the constructor first and when it will call the constructor of the base class in the same base class constructor it is trying to call the test function since it's a virtual function test function so a few people will think that this should call this test function but let me tell you this is not the correct thing correct answer is that it will call the virtual function which has been declared defined in the base class and what is the reason reason is that when we are calling this test base test base class constructor till then up to this point we only have this test class creation logic we don't have this test drive class creation logic because the test derived class constructor has not been called yet since this test derived class constructor has not been called and this test derived object has not been created so the virtual table for test derived has also uh, has also not been created right since the virtual table for test derived has not been created yet so but obvious this test base class constructor where we are calling this test function it will simply call this function the base classes version of test function right so let's see i hope you have understood the point now you can see the output see it is in the base class constructor and then okay let me just run it again because this compiler online compiler is not every time working fine so let me just run it again reload i will copy paste the same code okay so i'm just creating sometimes it doesn't update uh, you know at the server side this online gdb and it uh, shows you the previous output okay so you can see like in base class first of all it is calling the base class constructor and then you have called this test function and this test function has not is not calling this test function it is calling this test function inside the base class test function okay and then it is going to the derived class constructor now if in this line after this line you call the p to test function now it will call this test function because after the constructor for derived class has been called this object has also been created and the virtual table for this test drive class also gets created okay so i hope you have understood this point and this is a question which is mostly asked in the interviews and this is also asked most of the times uh, uh, in your uh, c++ written paper whenever you are going then along with the aptitude test uh, you get c++ paper as well you have to choose the right options objective type of questions are there so sometimes this this question is called uh, asked to you so i hope you must have understood the concept and this is really a good concept and uh, this cl clarifies all your doubt related to the virtual functions so with this uh, i'm going to end this video please like my channel subscribe my channel like this video and share this video with your friends have a nice day 